Welcome to WebBikeRoll.com. This is a very quick look at just a couple of the features of the Suzuki V-Strom 1000 ABS Adventure. Please read the initial impressions report on WebBikeRoll.com for more information on this motorcycle. Here's a quick look at the instrument panel. It's fairly straightforward to use once you use it a couple of times. There's an analog tachometer on the left and a nice digital gear position indicator. There's a mode button on the side that switches between metric and US display. It's rather stiff so it takes a couple of pushes sometimes. There are up down buttons and a select switch on the left hand grip for traction control and other features. Here it's in traction control 2, then down to 1 and off. The up and down arrows cycle it back and forth. Along the bottom of the readout is the fuel gauge. There's also a voltmeter, instant and average fuel economy readout and estimated range. Along the top is the trip 1 and trip 2 odometer. Change the backlighting on the display and the master odometer. There's an accessory outlet on the instrument panel also. Here's the windscreen. It's spring-loaded with three positions. Push it all the way forward and it springs back to position one. Here are the panniers on the Adventure model. It opens with a key. Use the handle to remove the bag and it mounts in four spots. One, two, three, four. Slide it back on, close the handle, and it locks. So that's a quick look at just a couple of the features of the Suzuki V-Strom 1000 ABS Adventure. For more photos and all the details, please read the initial impressions report on webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.